Hello Internet, welcome back to Azel's TV. Today I'm going to be making something with this. Ha ha ha. Right, this I got as a free sample several months ago from a company called Igus. This is very special plastic bearings which are very low friction, don't need oil or anything else. And I thought one day I'll make a camera slider from this. So I'll put feet on the bottom part and I'll also tap and thread this part here to fit on the tripod then I've got ball head to go on top and the camera will go on top of that like that so that's the camera can't use the camera because there's the camera and I'll just slide nicely like that and that makes some very nice dynamic shots in videography you get a surprising amount of movement just from that short length like that Right, time to drill some aluminium. Right, this aluminium I'm going to use for the feet struts. Let's mark this. 10 centimetres ought to be enough. I've got a carbide masonry now. Works oh, very well as a scribe. There we go. Now the fun part. Okay, steady. Yes, beautiful. Hey, one more of them. Superb. Sweet. Now I have to follow these. Lovely stuff. Right, I want rounded ends on these, so these feet sit on like that, and it follows it around. So let's mark a curve to cut out with the hexel and file. Say so there. It's about there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bit of a bang. Swish. That's close enough to act as a guide. Beautiful. Now the other ends on both bits. Here we go, all marked up. And I've saved you the pain of the extra banging. You're welcome. And here we go. Oh, this is such a wrong angle. <laughs> it's working. Ouch. That's better. Three to do aluminium shavings, otherwise known as man glitter. <laughs> Beautiful, here we go. I'll clamp this in here like this, real hokey, but it works. I previously marked these holes up, and these holes here and here are going to be for the ball mount which has screws going in from the bottom. Here we go. Pilot holes first of all, then I'll drill out to the size I need. Next side drill bit. Oh, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> Hard work. Here we go. Ouch. Huh? Huh? 
Gookum Airs. Now these screws are a little bit too long, so I'm going to have to shorten them with the hexel. Then I can put on the ball joint. This is not how to do this. This is how I do this. You shouldn't do it this way. Oh, oh, oh. This is very dodgy. Hey. That was a pain. One more. Hmm. This is a bit better. But if you have a vice, use that. But these are great. No, they're cheap. It works. If you're doing this and you have a nut that goes over the thread, put that on first so you can cut the thread after and it'll clean it. I don't, so I can't. I'm going to have to address it with a file. Which is exactly as fun as it sounds. This should go a bit better. Oh. Yeah. I saved you the squilling hacksaw blade and a colourful language. You're welcome. Okay, the deed is done. Almost. These go in how? Fiddly fiddly. Let's do one at a time, shall we? It's a bit easier. And then this goes here. Oh, ho, ho. that is the top part. Fantastic. So that turns and does all of this and you can put the camera on it like that and it's it's cheap and chintz and it's from Amazon and it costs like a pound but it works you know? if I decide to upgrade later to a proper Manfrotto one or something I can unscrew this and put a new one on no problem or right let's put feet on the base and drill and tap the tripod mount Oh, there we go. Yay! Beautiful. Now, well, I don't want the carriage just falling off the end when I'm doing a shoot because, no, that's, that's just embarrassing. So I'm going to put the carriage on, then put these on. Each end. Dink, dink, dink. Keeps it in the boo boo Lovely. Oi. Oh, here we go. Yeah. This is a bit I fear because I've got to drill and tap this with this tap size, and I think that's the drill bit I need, but <laughs> I guess we'll see. This is the worst. I have like one shot at this, and, and that's it. Oh boy. Slow, slow, slow. I'll spare you the most of this because this is going to take a while. Ta da! The jewels of video editing. Now the bit I'm dreading. Uh, uh, bit of juice. Lubrication. Uh, can't have too much of that. You don't want to go and dry. That's where you can go wrong. Oh god, this is going to go so badly. I have broken many a tap in my time. Doing this wrong. Let's hope the machinery gods are on my side today. That's not going on at all straight. Let's see if it evens itself out when I go in. Oh dear me. Okay. Okay, it's, it's doing something. I'll be honest, the largest hole I've tapped is M3 metric, and this is a quarter of an inch. It's a bit more chunky, but nothing wrong with being a bit chunky. Hey, we're getting a thread of sorts. This looks promising. Oh Jesus, okay.
I got these taps from RS Components. Ordered it online. Came the next working day. Very impressed. I'll put a link in the doobly doo. They're not a sponsor. But I'm a very happy customer. Oh, actually, it's time to. Yay! Look at that. That's what you want to see. Right. Let's back this out. Beautifully done. Right. Let's see if this fits on our mini tripod because the big tripod is hell. Man throws so tripod. If it doesn't fit this, something's gone horribly wrong. Oh dear. Okay. Rip. Oh, look at that. It's not. Actually, it's not at all straight. Christ. But it works! La 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 Right, let's drill out the end stop holes. Screw fits in nice. That's recess set so the screws it's a bit deeper and there's a bit more meat on the thread. I don't want to go all the way through on this. That would be quite, quite bad. <laughs> Bit more. Other side. Sweet. Right, let's stick the feet on. Not the feet, the end stops. Drip. Temporarily to see if it works good. Should do. I've had to make these slightly bigger, these holes, because they didn't fit the screw heads. Sweet! Right, feet. Next step. Right, while my camera was recharging, because the battery was getting a bit low, I drilled these out and drilled that out there. I drilled the feet the struts out. So these will go this way up. That'll go on top. I'm going to screw through underneath and I'm going to tap that. Wish me luck. Not the same tap, this is going to be an M3 tap. And here we go. This should go nice and easily. This is a fairly wide drill bit. So I don't want to wobble everywhere. Here we go, look at that already. And it's quite thin stock as well. No burr on the other side. Excellent. Humongous drill bit. To the burr. Both sides of both lots of both holes. favourite part. That's it. Here we go. You know what, I was going to use this and then just feather it in. Right, 
One down, three to go. Good grief. Second one down. Three, four, get in. Back of the shed. Right, here is the fruits of our labor. We have all the parts ready to be assembled. I'm gonna start with, actually, I'm gonna make sure there's no grease on the feet, on the feet struts. So when I come to stick the feet on, they actually stick on. First, uh, let's do this. Here we go. Now the camera goes in here, let's use this one. It's a wee bit fiddly. Fantastic. All right, let's see if we can take some shots of it working. So that was my camera slider project. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and share it and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks a lot and see you next time. Right, Paul.